Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to me, please press the subscription button below and um, press the notification bell so that you won't miss any future uploads. Today I'm going to make a simple pinwheel card, uh, seven by five. So I've made one here. Um, this is with the um, DSP that was in January, February time and I've used the um, iconic dies to actually uh, decorate it as well uh, as well as some flowers and um, little bits of uh, foliage um, very simple okay so Today I'm going to make it in this gorgeous black, what's it called, blackberry beauty and it is absolutely stunning paper. So it's got this gold on one side of it and then it's um, the different colour on the other side. So I've cut into that sheet um, and it's got this gorgeous um, eagle one. Uh, it's absolutely stunning and that's the back of it and it's got uh, this gorgeous gold foliage here and then it's uh, got a brown colour with like that in it and um, then it's got this gorgeous one here and that on the back and then it's got this one that you could cut down the middle so that it's both ways and then it's got um, like holly leaves and um, thistle type in the background there and then it's got the like swallows or birds of some description with the fo foiling as well and more foliage on the back there so it's absolutely gorgeous paper absolutely stunning uh, and pop that out of the way so uh, because it's blackberry bliss uh, the colors in the background we are going to use blackberry bliss so you need to start off with four pieces of card uh, as i say i'm using the blackberry beauty so i'm using blackberry bliss as my card stock and it wants to be three and a half inches by five inches and you want four of those pieces so I've gone ahead and cut those out then we'll need one piece of uh, four and a half by five and you're going to score that at one two three and four so it's quite simple you're scoring at one two three and four on the four an inch side Okay, so I've chose to use this one. This is going to be the inside. So I'm going to fold it like this and um, it's already been scored. Okay, you will also need um, four pieces of your DSP and I've decided to showcase this. So I'm using four different pieces of uh, the DSP and I'm going to use it all with the gold showing so um, this is measuring uh, three and three eighths by four and seven eighths and you just want four pieces so you could have two the same for the front and the back and two for the uh, same for the size but as I say I want to showcase this fabulous paper so I'm using all four of it so uh, without further ado I've also uh, cut out already from the um, what they call stitch so sweetly uh, dies I've already cut um, a piece out and it's not the largest I'll just bring those in to show you it's not the largest one it's is it the next one down yes it's the next one down so not the largest the next one down and I, I've already gone ahead 
and stamped with Blackberry Bliss from the uh, Friends Are Like Seashells. I've just taken the sentiment. You are unique and completely amazing. So I've just used that one. Okay, so there are all the pieces and everything I've got. You could decorate this with uh, whatever you like, really. I'm only going to uh, do it so far and then let you... Um, decorate it yourself because as I say I've decorated this one I've not put my happy birthday on but I've decorated this one so far and that will be where my sentiment goes so um, I've, I've done that one so far so you can decorate it how you want so all I'm going to do is um, put my glue on the half inch side and get it as close as I can to the edge there and then just go down it like that I'm then going to um, turn that over and what I do is I just get my bone folder put it underneath here and just crease it down but also go different ways so I'm creasing it down and just going all different ways so that I know it will lie flat and that's going to be fine so I'm turning it round and that'll be fine and the reason I've done this showing is because we will completely cover that but you will be able to see the lovely gold inside so I don't know whether you can see that can't get the right angle sorry but the gold does that show you a bit better? The gold is inside and I've, as you saw, I'm using this one. Okay, so what we'll do to start with is um, we will mount up our DSP on each of our pieces of Blackberry Bliss. I don't use Blackberry Bliss normally, it's not a colour that I... Uh, choose to use really but it is absolutely gorgeous and um, this paper absolutely stunning there we go so that's one done and then bring in I love this one um, I think it looks a bit like Hegwidge out of uh, Harry Potter so quite fun I'm just gonna get that. that so do that just make sure you've got equal increment all the way round well, that's number two done it is isn't it it's stunning absolutely stunning so this one And this paper is from the new um, July to August, uh, July to August, July to December catalogue, which will be live. So you will be able to buy it from the um, 3rd of August, this one. But it's, it's magnificent. Look at it. Absolutely magnificent. Okay, and then the last piece. So, there we go. And this is just so simple, this card. I have showed you the, um, the other ones that I've been making, but this is the simple version of them. So just make sure you get the equal increment all the way round. There we go. Fabulous. Okay, so all we're going to do is uh, I'm going to see where I've actually done it there. So I'll have that at, I'm going to have that at the side. don't actually think it matters too much. I might have it at the front because when it's up, you don't see it anyway. So uh, that is going to be my front. So all I'm going to do is put glue on only this side 
of my tower so just down this side so I'm going to put it at the top go all the way to the edge and the bottom and then all the way up the other side and then just make sure that I have got this right up against the edge so I'm going to make sure it's right up against the edge so just making sure right up against the edge and right up against there so that's how that I'm going to then decide which one I want coming forward and I think I'm going to have that one so I'm going to turn that and this is going to be on there just let's double me make sure yes this is going to be on here so we're going to put that on there and then I'll re make sure I've got this right okay so that is going to go there so I'm going to pop that making sure that it's right up against the fold and then when you open it up that that's going right against there so this is why I wanted to do this quite quickly because we've got to make sure that that is going right to the very edge let's have a look I've got that right yeah right to the edge and then so that's the next one and then we turn it round and this one where do we go this one goes on there like that so yeah that's the way I want to do it so I'm going to fold it down again and we're going to go down on these edges and I forgot to cut my DSP out and I always forget this the bare side I forgot to cut this here I forgot to cut that so we can go back in to do that in a minute and just make sure you've got it square okay and then turn it one round and this one we're going to finish off there that's right and oh i've stuck it wrong that's why i see what i've done now um so i must have gone wrong there i should have followed my other one Okay, that's going to go on there. I wish I'd have done it upright like this. Okay, it's not going to be an issue. It's I should have ended up where I'd got only small pieces to do in the DSP, and I went and stuck this one in the wrong position. So that should have been that side showing just there. And actually, I did want that going against it. So I have, but. Um, shouldn't have been like that so that, let's make sure we've got that all right so now we've just got to i've got to have one more piece so we'll have a look at uh, what we've got um to go in there uh, what color do i want I think actually I might go again. Uh, let's see. I did want that at the back. So I think I'm going to mount that at the back there. So I'll just fill that one in. Uh, so just get my trimmer. Oh, I've got my trimmer here, haven't I? So uh, this now, I'm just going to do. Uh, under five and then I'll tell you the other ones so this is going to be that one I'm going to put that one on first so it's that one that I did wrong so I want that one there and then I'll tell you what we need 
size wise for the others. Okay, which way around? That's the way I want it there. So we should have had that one there like that. Now, because I've done that, that will determine everything now because I'm wanting the back one to be the same. So if you see what I mean, I've done that. So I want to put Hegwidge on that one. So it is going to be... Uh, four and seven eighths so just making sure I've got that right four and seven eighths and then we're going to do um, it's going to be uh, two and three eighths now I'm going to see where that I think that will be Let's have a look at that side, two and three eighths. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way, two and three eighths, and just double check, and that's the size. So it's four and seven eighths by two and three eighths is what you will need for the bits in the middle. Okay. And uh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Okay, so just make sure you've got equal increments. So that one's done. So I want that one. So I'm going to pick up that one now. Uh, so it's not that one, it's that one. So I'm going to do that on the back. So again, I want two under five, so that's uh, four and seven eighths, and then two and three eighths. Yep, that's fine, two and three eighths. And we'll pop that on there, so that's going to go. So the beauty of this paper, it all matches one another. So uh, it's got the Blackberry Bliss running through as your predominantly background colour with your gold. Um, it's just so lovely. Okay. And then I want to put that one on the back. So I'm going to look for that one now. So the acorn one. Uh, on the back so again we're gonna go four and seven eighths so four and seven eighths Hannah have you got any blackberry bliss no and two and Three eighths. There we go. Okay. It's going to go on the back there. I've, I'm assuming it's cinnamon cider on the back of this one. When you've got gold specialty paper, I find it very, very difficult to use um, the other side because uh, when the gold paper is so stunning I find it very difficult to use um, another one so you can see uh, this one is going to be my back so this is where the sentiment so I've showed you I've already done that so this is where the sentiment is going to go and this is where you would sign your card as well So that's going to go in the middle like that. You could do a bit of stamping it on there, but I think actually the paper is so beautiful. I really, I think the paper, you don't really need to do anything to the paper. 
so I think I would just stick the happy birthday on the front and because the paper is so gorgeous I just let all the paper do all the hard work and that will be the back so it will stand like that and I just think it's it's absolutely stunning uh, so so pretty and so it folds flat as I say I'll just pop this so you'll see that's the wrong colour um, but just something like that just so simple on the front like that um, you could stick some ribbon down if you wanted to uh, it would take ribbon going down there in a bow uh, I haven't got any blackberry bliss um, I'm not sure if I think whether there is any in the um, new catalogue I'm not sure blackberry because I think there was something, I've seen something somewhere. It could even be um, in clearance, actually. I'm not sure. Um, but it just, that would be how you would fetch it out of the envelope because it fits into a normal standard um, envelope of your 7x5. Uh, yeah, so exactly the same. But it's, it's just... Um, I would probably do the Blackberry Bliss on the outside and I will do the, um, rather than the start white, I would do the cream. Um, I had planned to uh, do another, either uh, the sweet Stitch So Sweetly, I'm going to use one of the labels from that. So I'll put a sentiment on that when I'm ready. Um, I know what I'm going to do, but I'm I'm leaving that off camera. But that's where you would stick it. And then, as I say, all the paper speaks for itself. It's so stunning. And then you would just sign your name there. So hope you like that. So that is the simple one. Um, and as you've seen, I've done this one. So you can do it in lots of... This is Seaside Spray with, um, as I say, the iconic dies there. Um, all, all these are iconic dies. Um, this is an old punch, but these flowers here are all iconic dies, apart from the centre one. That's a punch that I've just got. This is from the Positive Thought uh, dies. Uh, this is from the Happy Birthday Cake uh, one. Um, but there's lots of kind of leaf and foliage that you can get. Again, the bird and the mushroom are from the iconic dies. Uh, this I love this uh, and this flower the iconic dies um, the iconic dies here I've just put that over a flower so this lent itself and just covered what already was there so it works well with that just love that uh, it's so simple um, I think I'm going to have to now make it in this uh, this is the one falls flat like that uh, to put in your card but um, as you can see uh, I've done this one I was thinking of filming uh, this one because this one is uh, bigger than um, the grandson one that I've done so this paper is the um, free one uh, that you can get at celebration so I've done it again to showcase it all I've just put um, the uh, I was it's polished pink um, and your granny apple green and um, your melon mambo and that's a bit of uh, fresh freesia in there and again I've used the iconic dyes these are all the flowers from the iconic dyes apart from the center one this sprig here and these leaves are all iconic dyes. This is an old punch. Uh, again, that's totally apart from the scent of the iconic dyes. It's just so lovely. I just really love the posh, uh, polished pink with it. Um, but I just thought that showcased it well. But I think now I can just imagine this in Blackberry Bliss with all these beautiful colours. I might have to just make one of those. I'm really into making these uh, pinwheel ones. I think they they are so easy to make. Um, and I'm sure that the recipient would just love them because it's just so simple. I've done uh, this here is the um, 
posted for you uh, I don't know whether it's called just posted um, it's the the um, punch so I've used that there so it's absolutely great uh, I just uh, as I say love these uh, love them I think they're so effective looks uh, absolutely stunning really love it right thank you very much for stopping by um, I I will show you I I've cut out ready <laughs> I've got all the flowers and everything ready to do the blue one and I was uh, wondering whether to film it or not to film it because you've seen me do the little one uh, if you do want me to film uh, a bigger one that like uh, that I've just done here this is the bigger one if you want me to film it please let me know uh, because I've got everything prepared ready to film if I needed to or I'm just going to make it up but uh, definitely now I've done this I'm going to make one of these in it. Can't help it. It's it's just um, stunning. Thank you very much. Um, I will be back another time with another video on crafty goodness. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye.